Hello there, in this tutorial I will show you how to make a simple diagonal movement and it's really simple so you can do it quite fast. So the normal movement only includes those four directions, so right, down, left and up, but we want to also go in those directions, so up, right, uh, down, right down left and up left and to do this we simply create a new event we can call this movement um, you could also put this in in a common event here if you like so you take a, f a free common event and put it here and it will work on every map then but I will show you this only here so the code here has to be included into the common event if you want to have it on every map and so the event needs to be a parallel process and now we simply need to check um, in which direct uh, what buttons we are pressing and to what direction with uh, this should lead us so first thing we want to check uh, if down and left is pressed so we go this direction and we do this and we uh, choose a conditional branch and on the fourth page you can select down it's being pressed uh, this is the same on every rpg maker so you, you can use it in most of the newer versions i think um, on this one we create an else branch because we want to check if down is pressed and down and there need to be pre another button pressed and which uh, this should be left or right and for this we need this else branch oh no that was wrong um, here we check if the down button is pressed and to check the other buttons after this so not at the same time we need to use this else branch but it will be more clear if i go on i think uh, so here we check if down is pressed and now we need to check if the left button is pressed so we can move our character diagonally and on this one you also create an else branch and now this is what I meant so this is the down and left and so this is down, this is down and left in this case. If you go here, it is down and something else. So in this case, yeah, ju uh, I think we should just start with uh, one. So down and left. So our character should move, uh, move lower left. This means he moves diagonally. We don't wait for completion and we skip if we cannot move so we can test this real quick just to show you so i'm pressing down and left so you see player starts moving diagonally and now we check the rest of the possible ways so he goes down and left on this case and on this case we want to check um, if he goes down and right so here we create another conditional branch and check if button right is pressed we don't need an else branch because it can only be down left or down right so we got both of those cases and we create another movement route here and set the player to move lower right again skip if cannot move and wait for completion 
So we need to skip if cannot move, because if if he's on this tile, let's say, and moves, wants to move uh, outside, then he apparently would stop running if you do it without skip if cannot move. He will just get stuck here. So you do this and you are safe. And now we got two cases covered, so this and this direction. And now we need the other two. And to do this we simply check here. So we already checked those two, so we need only here to check um, up. So we already checked the two possible ways when he goes down. And now we check the two possible ways if he goes up. And we do this easily by checking if um, we can check here if button uh, up is pressed. And now we can do the same as here. So if left, we can copy this actually. So I do this copy and paste. So now it's up and left. So the mo movement route need to be changed. It's not lower left, so, but it's uh, upper left. And the other one we change to from lower right to upper right. And that should be it, if we try to play it now, we will see that I can move in this way and cool thing is that your group members do the same movement, that's pretty nice, and that's it, see ya.